I will follow that system which I consider for the benefits of my patients and abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous. Same was the motto of a man called Hakim Abdul Majid, one of the well-known Yunani practitioners of his day, who had thought that a small Yunani clinic established by him in 1906 will one day reach these heights. A journey from 1906 to 1992 is a story of hope, faith and humanity. Hakim Abdul Majid wanted a large number of people to benefit from the efficacy of Yunani medicine. It is not at all surprising, therefore, that the name he gave to his fledging venture was Hamdard. Despite the grand achievements made by this 83 years young man, one finds not even a trace of arrogance in this man. He still goes to the Majidia Hospital every Thursday where he attends Yunani Medicine Clinic. Incredibly simple lifestyle of this man is an inspiration in itself. It is not surprising that all the respected leaders, be it Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Mr. Hadur Shastri, Mrs. Indira Gandhi, Dr. Zakir Hussain, Mr. Moraji Desai, Prince Charles of England, or late young and dynamic Prime Minister of India, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi, had nothing but praise for this man and his institutions. This is what Mr. Rajiv Gandhi had to say while inaugurating the Jamia Hamdard University. There is future and there is hope. So long as there are people like Hakim Abdul Hamid, driven by the goodness of their souls, sharing the pain and sufferings of fellow humans.